Hello everybody, Mackenzie Hagland here. My channel is all about you getting out there and living your most amazing life. This month, I've decided to focus on the topic of courage. Yesterday, I spent some time defining what courageous living means. And today, I want to talk about the seven aspects that I believe make up courageous living. I'll talk about each of them briefly today because I think it's important to see them as a grouping. But throughout the month, I'll talk about each one in more depth. Let's get started. Aspect number one is letting go. We spend so much of our valuable mental capacity and our resources thinking about things we can't change and things we have no control over. The first thing is the past. We spend all of this time regretting something we did or being shameful of something that happened, wishing it would change. We have no control over what's happened. We can't change it. Let go of it. The other area is the future. We spend all this time worried about what might happen, what could happen. I know specifically for me, a lot of times if I need to have a difficult conversation, I spend hours thinking about that conversation. I dwell on it. I have the other person's reaction already planned out before the conversation has even happened. What you need to do differently is just be authentic in your life. Do what you can do, but stop worrying about and creating a future that you have no control over. Let it unfold naturally. You'll be so much more happy in your own life. All right. Aspect number two is to take responsibility for the things you do have control over. A lot of times we give other people or specific situations control over our lives. We say, well, you know, the economy's bad, so we can't go after what it is we want to go after. Or somebody may have told us we weren't smart enough, and we allow that to control us moving forward. Instead, take responsibility for your life. Say, these are the things I have control over. That person may have said I'm not very intelligent, but I know because of A, B, and C that I'm smart enough in my life. Or I know that I can go out and create what it is I want for myself. So I'm going to take responsibility and do what it is that I can do. Okay, aspect number three is to challenge yourself and get out there and chase your dreams. If you're not building your courage muscle, it's difficult to utilize it on a regular basis. So many of us have gotten used to living small. We've gotten used to not challenging ourselves and getting out there and going after what it is we want, that we get happy in status quo. We get comfortable where we're at. But that's not a very fulfilled place to be in our lives. So get yourself a plan. What is it that you want? What do you dream about? What do you see for yourself? Go out there, practice being courageous in that direction. The more you do it, the easier it's going to be. All right. Number four is to love fully. This one is so important. And I'm not just talking about loving the other people in your life. I'm talking about loving yourself. So often, we abuse this person more often than we abuse anybody else. So when I'm talking about loving fully, I'm talking about you loving yourself as much as I'm talking about you loving other people. Think about the barriers we set up between us and the people we care about. We think that maybe their actions are something they're doing against us or something they said will come forward with us and will continue to impact that relationship into the future when we could have just let it go. We could just fully love that person for who they are and where they're at in their life. Learning to let go and forgive other people is so important if you want to be fulfilled and get what it is you want out of your life. Number five is to be yourself. We downplay who we are every day. We want to live authentically. We want 
to get out there and be who we're meant to be, but we're afraid of being judged. We're afraid of what other people might say. Can you imagine if you're out there living your most authentic self and you fail? What would that mean for you? We have to get to a point in our lives where we understand that we're going to be okay no matter the outcome. So get out there and authentically be who you're meant to be. Do the things you want to do. Be maybe a little bit silly if that's who you are. I know for me, I collect Santa hats and from November, uh, end of November through the beginning of January, I pretty much wear my crazy Santa hats every day. But there have been years where I didn't even take them out of the closet because I was like, what are other people thinking? What will other people think about me? But the truth is, who cares? I love to put on Santa hats. I love to smile at other people and see people smile at me and how they react. I want to be that person. That's who I want to be. And so I need to let go of fear in order to authentically be who I am during that time of year. Do the same thing for yourself. What is it you want to do? Who is it you want to be? And go out there and live it. Number six is to be vulnerable. So many of us put on this facade because we think, you know, we want other people to see us as perfect. We don't want other people to know we have problems. I know for me over the last couple of years, this has been something I've really faced and gotten comfortable with. Do the same thing for yourself. Be okay coming to the table just as you are. Let other people know. Talk about the things that are going on in your life. Because I think when we're willing to be vulnerable, other people are willing to be vulnerable with us. And that's a huge part of living your life courageously. It's a huge part of being fulfilled and creating meaning for not only yourself in your life, but for the people around you. And the last piece of living courageously that I want to talk about is to be present in the moment of your life. Way too often, we're focusing on the past, we're focusing on the future, maybe we have our mobile device with us and we're you know, on there playing games or doing whatever and we're not experiencing our life in the moment. I recently saw a commercial on TV where two groups of couples, three couples were allowed to take their technology with on vacation and three couples had to give it all up. And it just showed the difference in experience for the two couples. How much more romantic the couple was that didn't have their technology with them. So think about becoming present in the moment in your life. Stop worrying about what might happen. Let go of what has happened. Just be here. Be with yourself. Be with the people. Be in the moment. Experience life's beauty and everything it has to offer when you can, which is right now. All right, so those are the seven aspects of living your life more courageously. Like I said before, I will take some time this month and go into each of these in more depth because if you want to live your most amazing life, you have got to learn to be courageous. You have got to learn not to let fear control you, to move forward despite feeling fearful in your life. Again, my name is Mackenzie Hagland. If you've enjoyed today's video, I just ask that you click on the like button. Better yet, subscribe to this channel. I would love to walk the journey of you getting to your most amazing life alongside of you. Thank you.